But I won't just travel. Make I just come off for Nigeria. Where you they go? I no no. Make I just come off. Babe, make I just come off for Nigeria. To go here. Also, what are you hustling? <laughs> Do your research now because hey, where you are going to, it might be from frying pan to fire. So you really, really have to do detailed research about the country you're going to, about what works in that country, about what is applicable in that country, a whole lot of stuff. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I know it's been ages, well realistically it's been, it's been about four months, yeah. So I didn't um, have a break from YouTube. <laughs> it's big girls that do that. So I just, I don't know. I'll just say life happened really, you know, and you know, I'll just say life happened and I needed the time off and there's a lot of traveling and all of that stuff. So, but I'm back, you know, Igbo people say anytime you wake up is your good morning. So. <laughs> happy new year guys happy new year yes i'm just entering my own 2020 i've been in 2019 i know so many people watching me you guys are even still in 2019 so pardon me let us just join 2020 they've left us you know so let's just get into 2020 already so i've been in 2019 but since february i could say I'm ready for the year now and with the, so much cold, the weather and everything. I'm in 2020 now. That's the main thing. So welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chine. I am a Nigerian and Igbo girl vlogging from Ireland. So this 2020 is for hot videos, hot content. <laughs> give it as a table shaking thing so i'll be talking today with so much passion because i was on this table mm, i was so let's just get right into it so today we're just going to be talking about all our brothers and sisters back home that want to leave home and just come abroad go somewhere in europe or in america or asia something just leave home basically for a better life but the main reason for this video is are you going for a better life or are you going to end up being worse than you were in nigeria you really need to consider a whole lot of stuff before you just take off I've been in ireland for about 19 months now and the reality is harsh so there's no how you watching this video or you you would know somebody that just wants to get out of the country and just go to anywhere just for a better life you know so yeah you could share this video you could make them watch it you know at the end of the day you would be more informed you would be prepared and you would also decide by yourself if it's actually necessary to leave, you know. So, not too much talking, guys. Let's get right into it. Forgive me for taking a break. <laughs> but we are here to now give content every week. So, help us God. First point is research. Like, guy, you want to leave Nigeria. Like, I have spoken to some people that will just be like, babe, I just want to get out. No matter where. I'm like no matter where and they are listing some countries that i don't want to i don't want to say <laughs> but if you read about these countries they have so much as in they have high rate of unemployment maybe not as much as nigeria but you're going to a country where even the citizens of that country they are they are suffering they don't have jobs and you expect that when you get there somehow somehow you get a job You need to do your research. Anywhere you want to go to, you really, really, really need to research on it. Like, you need to know. You're going to a country, like, you need to research as deep as not just the country you want to go to, where in the country you want to go to. It's just like asking somebody where are you going to, the person is like, I'm going to Nigeria, and you don't know where in Nigeria you're going to. 
like why i'm so passionate about this is i didn't do my research <laughs> oh my god yeah i didn't do like detailed research i just knew oh i was coming to ireland to join my husband to hustle what are you hustling <laughs> do your research now because hey where you are going to you might be from frying pan to fire so you really really have to do detailed research about the country you're going to about what works in that country about what is applicable in that country a whole lot of stuff hey, research like data is not just for instagram or facebook like google it what is happening there some of these countries that so many people are talking about in nigeria like they have high rates of nat natural disaster like almost every month they have one thing or another affecting them i'm not saying people are not surviving in that country but you just when you know better you feel more confident so i just like plead with you to do your research research about where you're going to okay that's that about that number two skills now it still affects number one that's why i put research as the very first thing skills you have to know what is working in that country you know like before you leave nigeria if you've done your research if you think okay handiwork is working there makeup artists are making it there people that make hair are making it there good then you should learn that kind of skill if you feel okay this particular place they excel more in medical field are you a medical practitioner if you feel okay they are very good and successful in it are you an it person if you feel okay it's nothing are you you cannot just jump into the place that's why i say i'm really guilty about this point i have like close to five years experience in banking but yeah i don't need it here so you see so you just have to make your research to know okay where i'm going to will i actually be valuable will i be able to make it you know that idea that we have is forget when you just get to the airport as long as nobody nigeria you go hustle what are you hustling i ask again do your research and know what kind of skill you should acquire before you get to the country of choice number three this is a shocker guys jobs <laughs> oh i was lying down on this table like i didn't believe that they don't have jobs here sometimes but i've been here for almost like i said 19 months or so and i've not been working mm -hmm. you ask me how yes i'm a graduate in computer science yes i have a master's degree in, in um, um, information technology but i still don't have a job you know even as i have a stamp for visa now that's another thing you will just get into a country with a visitation visa and you expect to work legally you can't the jobs i'm talking about is those jobs that you really feel that oh i go hammer when i get to america one year i go hammer you can't do those jobs when you just have stamp on visa or you have visitation visa or they just gave you visa for three months and all your mind is when i get there i will not come back what will you be doing this place is harsh hmm. <laughs> the first few months like it would hit you if you're not prepared if you don't have a sponsor it will hit you very very hard like there are people that sleep outside like don't look at me like that i'm so passionate about this because i know so many people don't know now get me right like most of these countries the advantage is they have systems that work if you're informed if you know where you're going to you know what you're doing and you get into the system oh you'll be very glad you did because their system works it's not a situation where you finish school in nigeria no jobs like first class no jobs you know they have a system that actually works but now can you work with the system are you workable in that system you cannot just jump into the system and you expect it to you know a big a big a big we need to use our phones I actually would have I needed to use my phone I just felt like when I get here hmm, 
I was even telling my friend, like, <laughs> we even just never so few, like, few days ago. I said, like, I thought that when I come here, ah, with my experience in banking, what is all day? It's what is up? It's not the same thing here. Like, their banking um environment here is very different. Like, they are, they are very automated. So, they actually need very few staff. So, and secondly... A whole lot of a whole bunch of stuffs are actually required to get a job you know so you just have to do your research and be sure all right <laughs> so the next point which is actually as important as research is finance guys money is of the essence like it's not Nigeria that you go to your neighbors with babe, how far back, my salts don't finish. You barely know your neighbors here. You have to, like, I know Canadian Embassy for permanent residency, you should have at least 4 million or 3 million or thereabout in your account. Trust me, those people know what they are doing. You need the money. You. Except, of course, you're lucky you got the job while you're in Nigeria. Yeah, some people get jobs, apply for jobs from Nigeria, and these companies pay for their work permits, pay for everything. So they're already employed even before they get to the country. Yeah, some people are like that. And that's about research as well. You know, you don't just jump into a country just like that. <laughs> and you start praying, blood of Jesus and all that stuff. <laughs> you know, finance. Oh, my God. This finance covers a whole lot of stuff, money, bills, like we pay for everything. Good, good a thing, like Ireland doesn't pay for water, but some countries pay for water. You pay for everything. So when you have bills like this and you're talking about your accommodation bills, what we pay in a month for house rent, you use it and pay for a bigger house bigger space live like a big boy in nigeria for a year but you just have to like stay in where you can afford at the moment you know so things are expensive some people say oh when i get to when i get to europe oh clothes are cheap this that nothing as in there are things that are actually cheap but by the time you convert nigerian money to their own definition of cheap it's still expensive you see <laughs> so finance is very 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 important if you have a sponsor you should also make inquiries like how long will that sponsor be keeping you because sometimes you get into a country and just look at me for an, for an example like thank god i'm staying with my family i'm staying with my husband and stuff imagine if i wasn't and i was looking for a job for how many months now but i know if i had put in some other things in place maybe i would have gotten a job but i'm just assuming like you could stay for as long as two three four months no job and you have bills to pay you have to feed you have to pay your house this one no day for you will knock at somebody please can i sleep in your house no no nobody sends you for here like it's hustle you the good thing is if you hustle you make money you will enjoy because they have good things, good, you know, there's lights, there's everything that we don't have, good health and all those other stuff. But the cocoa is you have to pay for all the services. So do you have the money? What happens if you get here and what you're dreaming about, all those hustle, oh, make I reach there first, I go hustle and it doesn't work. What will you do? There are homeless people here. There are people sleeping out in the cold. At least what comes to us in Nigeria, you will go back to your village. Where will you go back to here? A whole lot of things you need to consider. Like I was speaking with some, some guy. I was like, see, if you know, with the way you're talking to me, if you know you don't have a sponsor, you don't have where to stay, it is actually, the reality is actually harsh. You have to, you just have to know, you have to be prepared. If you know you don't have anybody, then build your accounts before you get here. You know, some people have very good lives in Nigeria and they just feel it's way better here. It's okay. It might be better here, but I'm just here to tell you in reality that the first few years might be harsh. Like when I got here and I made so many applications, 
I went for about two interviews and I wasn't called. Like, I couldn't believe it. I'm going for the interviews as well. I even saw, like, citizens of the country too, like, reading. You know how you'd be reading to pass interview? I'm like, am I in Nigeria? I thought these people have jobs. There are jobs, you know. But there are some countries that their unemployment are really, really high. You really need to be sure where you're going to. You know, you don't now expect them to take you over their own citizens, or when there are no jobs, they should create jobs for you. It's harsh, you know. So it is a system that works, but be ready for the first few years of reality, you know, especially this finance part. This point is very important. Finance. Be sure that you have that account built that could sustain you for a very long period of time like based on your research you know you should know how the cost of living is in that place and how long it will sustain you for and then you should get ready before you finally relocate borrow money or have people invest in you and then you come here and it's not what you think and then you sleep outside it's her show Hmm. Our next point is, is weather. Now, so many people are going to Canada. Do you know how cold it is there? Hmm. So many people are, want to go to Australia. Do you know how hot it is there? Do you know how their summer is? Do you know how their winter is? Do you know how their spring is? You have to know. Do you know why you need to know? You might bring your clothes back from Nigeria and you can even see cheaper jackets in Nigeria to buy in Lagos Island. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Buy them and be prepared. You might get socks there cheaper or something like all those thick socks in Okrika. Buy them. Oh. Buy them and be, all these things. <laughs> anyway, you need to know about the weather. Like, good thing I came... I came to Ireland when it was supposed to be like summer time, but the cold that hit me from the airport, I was just thankful to God that I didn't come in January or February. Like the cold that will hit you, you'll be like, ah, ah, what is happening? Is this what they've been telling me about? Is <laughs> oh my God, it's better experience than explained, really. What will hit you from the airport? Or maybe you don't know how to prepare for their winter. Or you don't know how to prepare for anything. And you just carry your bag and all that is your head is, oh, I come, make a come hustle. I they come, make a come hustle. It doesn't work, oh, you know? So you really, really, really need to come with the right motive and objective and everything and come legally, you know? So that's that about where. The three P's, preparation, planning, and positivity. Now, when you already, you're already informed with our previous points, you just need to prepare your mind. Like I said before, the first few months, you'll be homesick. <laughs> Even me that was with my husband, I had times where he goes to work and I'm just crying. Like, I was doing well in Nigeria, you know, that kind of stuff. So... You'll be homesick sometimes if things don't work out like you planned, you know. So just be prepared. Be ready. Have positive vibes. Like, be positive. Like, okay, I'm going here. Okay, I have the finance. I have the skill. I have this. I've read about them. I believe that I'm going to make it here. Be positive. You know, rightfully positive. Not positively, I go hustle. God go do am. I go hustle and you've not done your homework. <clears throat> You'll be homeless. So. <laughs> okay, guys. So that's just what I want to say. And then you plan. You have to just plan for it. Get ready for it. Like, so that it will still hit you. You'll still be shocked, but not as shocked as if you were not informed. So generally, I'll just say be ready for everything anything can happen you could be very lucky get here at once get a job but you could get here there are no jobs but here i mean ireland specifically europe or just leaving nigeria to go somewhere else you know and then have the right motive don't be oh are you ready for it do you have everything planned are you going to school 
Oh, if I get there, I go hustle like my mate. I go find job. What visa are you going with? A whole lot of stuff. Just do your research. Be ready. And I wish you well this 2020. So that being said, thank you for watching. Before I go, <laughs> thank you for watching, guys. So I promise by the grace of God to be consistent. I have a whole lot of content this year. But like I said, I just started my year. So happy new year once again <laughs> happy new year guys and let's just grow the channel together try to subscribe to my channel encourage me i'm just starting so just click the like button if you like it if you missed me click the like button let me see your comments if you have any kind of video you want me to do basically about island let me know in the comment section so i'll just be dishing out videos you know small small and like that so we'll grow this channel together <laughs> so see you guys in my next video till then guys <laughs> till then guys bye <laughs> see you